Welcome to Deep Cove Music and Arts Center's Band Factory Tribute Show, The Dream Teams That Made the Hits. From the jazz age through to modern rock, great songwriting partnerships including John Lennon and Paul McCartney of The Beatles and Bernie Taupin and Elton John have provided some of popular music's finest moments. To do that, they had to engage in a tricky but sometimes magical skill called collaboration. No matter how experienced or how great your partnerships are, sometimes things come together easily, but most of the time it just takes a lot of time, persistence, and hard work. These days, our Pearson family band finds it easier to collaborate than some of the beginning days, similar to our fantastic band factory band. Hey guys, this is the Pearson family band live from Penticton. Say hi, everybody! We've got seven bands that have been working hard to get to tonight, playing two songs each that inspired them from some of the most incredible songwriting and performance collaborations of all time. Now sit back and enjoy our tribute to some of the dream teams that made the hits. <laughs> the Obes Corporation playing Rocket Man by Elton John and Bernie Taupin, and Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. Elton John and Bernie Taupin are one of the quintessential songwriting duos. Together they've written songs that have stood the test of time and are now considered classics. With songs like Tiny Dancer, Your Song, and Benny and the Jets, everyone is sure to know at least one of their songs. What makes them such a strong duo is the fact that they cover each other's weaknesses, with Elton writing the music and Toppin writing the lyrics. They're each specialists in their field. Rocket Man is a song inspired by Ray Bradbury's short story by the same name. Much like in the story, the lyrics feature a rocket pilot who, unlike an astronaut, is closer to the common man than a scientist. The lyrics are wistful with the main character lamenting being away from his wife and kids. The touching themes and bittersweet music make for a rather unique ballad that is one of the duo's finest. While Rocket Man features a relationship strained by distance, Go Your Own Way features one that's just ended. Written by Lindsey Buckingham about his and Stevie Nicks' relationship, Go Your Own Way is the quintessential breakup song as Lindsey's frustration at having to write hit songs for his ex-lover to sing was directly channeled into the lyrics. This lover's quarrel paid off as the song went triple platinum and is considered by most to be one of their best songs. Now welcome the Obes Corporation. So the first song that we're gonna play for you guys is Rocket Man, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna count us in. Then. 
着他。Let us fight. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no, no. Man, burning out his fuse up there alone. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no, 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 I'm a rocket man. So that was Rocket Man, and now I'm going to introduce the band. Um, so we're supposed to have uh, Andre on the keys, but instead we have uh, George Jordan. Jordan. Sorry, he's yeah. Um, and on the drums is Sebastian. Um, we have another Sebastian on bass, uh, and Lewis is on lead guitar. Um, and I'm Olivia, and I'm on rhythm guitar and lead vocals. Yeah. And um, the next song that we are going to play is Go Your Own Way so, by Fleetwood Mac. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change that? If I could, maybe I'd give you my world. How can I, when you won't take it from me? You can go.
Area 52, playing Mr. Brightside by The Killers on a pre-recorded video. Also, a collaboration with Area 52 and the Olds Corporation, playing Lay All Your Love On Me by ABBA. Mr. Brightside is a song about jealousy, written by the songwriting partnership singer Brandon Flowers and guitar player Dave Kunning of the American rock band The Killers. It was Dave who originally came up with the music, which Brandon later wrote the lyrics for. It's based on a true story of Brandon finding out his girlfriend was cheating on him. The lyrics put the listener in his head from the moment he became suspicious to when he found out, with the title and final lyric of the chorus used ironically to describe himself as the fool he must have felt like, Mr. Brightside. The band went from playing this song at an open mic to the song going seven times platinum and staying in the UK charts for over five years straight. Much like Mr. Brightside, Lay All Your Love On Me features themes of jealousy, but this time accompanied by an electro disco beat from the Swedish pop band ABBA, one of the most popular and successful music groups of all time. It is generally considered that there were two main songwriters in ABBA. Bjorn Alvesis and Benny Anderson. The women in ABBA, Agnetha and Annie Fried, the A's in the acronym Paladrome ABBA, did not write as much as the boys, but did contribute. There was a third writer who contributed some of the biggest songs as well, Stig Anderson. Lay All Your Love On Me is from ABBA's seventh studio album, Super Trooper. This song was originally not intended as a single. Even so, it managed to go gold in the UK charts with its Mamma Mia counterpart going silver. This Mamma Mia version was turned into a duet featuring singing from Amanda Seyfried and Dominic Cooper. Additionally, this version included key changes to better suit the singer's ranges. Today, this song is well remembered, even being placed at number 60 in Slant Magazine's Greatest Dance Song of All Time. Now welcome Area 52!
bitch and I've been doing just fine Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all Started out with a kiss, I didn't end up like this It was only a kiss, it was only a kiss Now I'm falling asleep and she's calling the cab While well, he's having a smoke and she's taking a drag Now they go in the bed and my stomach is sick And it's all in my head but she's touching his chest Now he takes off her dress Now let me go Just can't look, it's killing me and taking control. Jealousy turning sins into the sea, swimming through sick lullabies, choking on your alibis. As you can see, that was Area 52, and um, now on stage with us, we have Casey on the drums. <laughs> and um, Peyton on the bass. Uh, yeah, we're, we're really excited to be playing with them. And uh, now we're going to play Lay All Your Love On Me by ABBA.
The Broken Speakers, playing My Guitar Gently Weeps by The Beatles and The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. The Beatles were known for one of the greatest writing partnerships of all time, John Lennon and Paul McCartney. However, it's been said that this partnership's lack of collaboration with George and Ringo helped create the tension that took place and ultimately broke up the Beatles. In early 1968, after studying Transcendental Meditation in India, Harrison wrote the song While My Guitar Gently Weeps about the world's unrealized potential for universal love, which he refers to as the love there that's sleeping. It was also a comment on the disharmony within the Beatles. This lack of camaraderie was reflected in the band's initial apathy towards the composition, which Harrison countered by inviting his friend and collaborator, Eric Clapton, to contribute to the recording. Clapton overdubbed a lead guitar part of melancholic solos on the track, which makes the song the recognizable jam we know today. Rolling Stone ranked While My Guitar Gently Weeps 136 on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time, seventh on the 100 greatest guitar songs of all time, and number 10 on its list of the Beatles' 100 greatest songs. Clapton's performance was ranked 42nd in Guitar World's 2008 list of the 100 greatest guitar solos. Led Zeppelin was a highly innovative band that created a new sound, which has come to be known as heavy metal or hard rock by combining three elements, acoustic folk, hippie mysticism, and power chords with high volume and distortion. The band featured Jimmy Page on guitar, bassist and keyboard player John Paul Jones, drummer John Bonham and vocalist Robert Plant. While Jimmy Page was the leading creative engine behind the songwriting, the band worked together as a cohesive team to create their iconic songs. That's not quite uncommon either, but what separated them from bands that did the same thing was that Zeppelin's drummer was consistently given songwriting credit. It was a well-deserved credit in their song The Ocean too, as it features an unusual time signature being partially in septuple meter with a repeated two-measure phrase consisting of one bar of 4-4 and one bar of 7-8, and the solid drum groove gives a foundation for the rest of the band to play the memorable and hard-hitting riff and energetic guitar solos. Now give it up for the Broken Speakers!
fan, but I lost my voice, as you can probably tell. So Woo! it's okay though, because we have Sasha, and she's very amazing. Okay, that was While My Guitar Gently Weeps by the Beatles, and now I'm gonna introduce you to the band. So, we have Ben. Amazing. And we have Owen on bass. And on guitar, we have Jackson. And Peyton. And then, um, we have Tyler on drums. <laughs> and now we're going to perform The Ocean by Led Zeppelin.
Thank you, Nicola, for letting me sing. Thank you guys. You guys are great. Awesome. Next band. Frog, playing The Distance by Cake, and Are You Reeling in the Years by Steely Dan. When Cake released their second album, Fashion Nugget, with it they found their first hit, The Distance. To this day it remains their most popular song, helping Fashion Nugget go double platinum, and it still gets plenty of airtime today. One thing that is not so well known about this song is that it was written by their guitarist, Greg Brown, and not John McRae, who's been the lead songwriter for Cake since Greg's departure. In the early days of Cake, both of these members would write songs for the band, and while the distance is credited to Greg, McRae helped with the arrangement and structure of the song. It was this collaborative approach that helped define the sound of their music. From the early days of Cake to the early days of Steely Dan, Reeling in the Years is a song with similar themes to The Distance. Both feature cold, detached lyrics about failure in spite of ambition, with neither song being narrated from the first person. Musically, Reeling in the Years lands before the band would embrace the complex harmonies and large arrangements that became a staple of their sound later on. Instead, the song is more straight ahead of rock tune with a fairly simple structure but a substantial solo section featuring session musician Elliot Randall on lead guitar. Now, welcome to the stage, Frog! Reluctantly crouched at the starting line Engines bumping and thumping in time The green light flashes and the flies go up Turning and burning the yearn for the cup They definitely maneuver and muscle parade Fuel burning fast on an empty tank Reckless and wild, they pour through the turns The palace is haunted and tickly stern As they speed through the finish, the plays go down The fans get up and they get out of town The arena is empty except for one man Driving and striving as fast as he can The sun has gone down and the mood has come up And long ago somebody left with the gun But he's striving and driving and hugging the turns And thinking of someone for whom he still burns Cause he's going the distance Cause he's going for speed She's all alone, all alone in her time of need Because he's racing and pacing and flying the course and riding, and riding on his horse He's going the distance yeah! No trophy, no flowers, no black moths, no wine He's haunted by something he cannot define Foul shaking her way of doubt and remorse Assail him and pale him with monstrous force In his mind he's still driving, still making the grade He's open in time that her memories will fade Cause he's racing and facing and flying the course He's fighting and fighting and riding on his horse The sun has gone down and the moon has come up And long ago somebody left with the dump Cause he's driving and driving and hugging the turns And thinking I'm strong for who he still burns Cause he's going the distance He's going for speed She's all alone All alone in her time of need Because he's racing and pacing and flying the course He's fighting and fighting and riding on his horse He's racing and pacing and flying the course He's fighting and fighting and riding on his horse He's going the distance He's going for speed He's going the distance
Okay, so uh, that was another song. Now we're going to play another song. Check, check.
Hey Jeff, what did Sushi A say to Sushi B? What? What's up, B? While you ponder this astute and perspicacious wit, please enjoy a refreshment during our 15-minute intermission. The Seagoats playing Dylan Thomas by Better Oblivion Community Center and Insomnia by The Moss. Better Oblivion Community Center is an American indie rock super duo comprising of Bright Eyes' Connor Oberst and singer-songwriter Phoebe Bridgers. The duo said their name is intended to conjure the duality of impending doom mixed with a positive about all being in this together. Oberst who was named the best songwriter of 2008 by Rolling Stone magazine, met four-time Grammy-nominated Bridgers at a showcase hosted by Oberst in LA. They started collaborating and continued even more when Bridgers opened for Oberst on a European tour. Bridgers and Oberst wrote and recorded their self-titled debut album in secret in Los Angeles in the summer and fall of 2018 and surprise released it on January 24, 2019. Their song, Dylan Thomas, is the lead single from that project. The rollicking track is named for the famed Welsh poet. The first line of the first verse is taken from the title of one of Thomas's works. It was quite early one morning, hit me without warning. Better Oblivion Community Center stepped out in the public under their new guise for the first time to perform Dylan Thomas on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on January 23rd, 2019. The Moss is quite the name for a band that transcends genres and eras. The Hawaii-based group looks the part of an early 90s grunge band. Composed of vocalist and guitarist Tyke James, drummer Will Fowler, and guitarists Brereton and Addison Sharp. They began playing local gigs in Oahu, playing between surf sessions and tackle truck escapades, and gained the attention of those around them. Gaining early attention, they were able to land opening gigs for major artists such as Pine Grove and Cage the Elephant. Three years later, they recorded their debut album, Briology. The album was created on no budget, with the band learning to record and mix on their own. Their sophomore release, Kentucky Derby, expanded their sound while maintaining relatable lyrics and an upbeat production. With two albums under their belt, The Moss recently dropped a new single, Insomnia. According to the band, the track is about passing the point in a relationship where you can't sleep at night when you are away from them, evidently acting as a love song with its explosive melody and soaring bass line. Now give it up for the Seagoats!
course I climbed into your Corvette I'm thirsty for another drink If it's advertised I'll try it and buy some peace and quiet and shut up at the side of my tree They say you gotta fake it at least until you make it that ghost is just a kid in a sheet I'm getting used to the It 
Thank you. Thank you. Blackberry Jam Session. Playing Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears and I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd featuring Daft Punk. Tears for Fears was an English pop rock band formed by Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith in 1981. The duo had met each other years before as teenagers and played in several bands together before founding their famous act. Tears for Fears was brought on by Orzabal's desire to take his songwriting more seriously, taking inspiration from acts such as The Talking Heads and Peter Gabriel. With a desire to grow and create new sounds, the band opted to go for a slightly more electronic sound, taking inspiration from bands like Depeche Mode. Their highest charting single in the UK was Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which also hit number one in the US and Canada. Orzabal and Smith eventually had an acrimonious falling out due to Orzabal's growing perfection and Smith's wanting to slow things down and announced their breakup in 1991. Inspired by 80s pop music and contemporary R&B, The Weeknd hit the scene in Toronto, Canada and quickly became a big figure in the music scene and collaborated with the powerhouse duo Daft Punk. In an interview, The Weeknd recalls working with the French electronic duo saying, they're one of the reasons I make music. Formed in 1993, Daft Punk have become a household name making hit after hit and using an iconic image never revealing their faces and wearing robotic helmets on album covers and during live performances, Daft Punk created an unforgettable style only compared to acts such as KISS or the Blue Man Group. After a long, extremely successful career, being credited as the most influential artist of the 21st century and regarded as the catalyst for the rise of popularity of electronic music genres, the duo decided to disband in 2021. Now here to rule the world, please welcome Blackberry Jam Session.
Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming out. We're the Blackbird Jam Session. I'm going to introduce the band. We have Jackson on guitar, and Tane on bass and guitar, Makai on drums, Ruby on keyboard, and Evangeline on keyboard and bass. And we also have Brandon filling in for Zach on keyboard. Uh, that was Everybody Wants to Rule the World, and our next song is I Feel It Coming. by U2 and Little Bones by the Tragically Hip. Bad is a song by Irish rock band U2 and the seventh track on their 1984 album The Unforgettable Fire. Thematically, the song is about heroin addiction, though lead vocalist Bono has given varying accounts on who was the inspiration behind his lyrics. When songwriting, U2 collaborates on all their works and are all credited as songwriters. Bono, Paul Hewson, is the primary lyric writer, 
Edge, Dave Evans, is the primary songwriter. All four participate in song building, usually starting with the lyrics and a riff, and they build from there. Bad originated from a guitar riff that The Edge improvised during a jam session at the Slane Castle where U2 was recording the unforgettable fire. The basic track was completed in three takes. Of its immediate and live nature, The Edge said, there's one moment where the drummer Larry Mullen Jr. puts down brushes and takes up sticks and it creates this pause which has an incredibly dramatic effect. Producer Brian Eno added the sequencer arpeggios that accompany the song. Little Bones, as with all tracks from the Road Apples album, was co-written by all the bandmates in The Tragically Hip, a Canadian rock band formed in Kingston, Ontario in 1984, consisting of vocalist Gord Downey, guitarist Paul Langlois, guitarist Rob Baker, and bassist Gord Sinclair, and drummer Johnny Fay. In an interview with Gord, he said Little Bones was the name of a cat in a 1967 novel he was reading called The Last of the Crazy People by Timothy Finley. At one point he was eating chicken in the back of a cab. The driver remarked, better eat that chicken slow, it's full of all them little bones. Gord said he liked the connection to the book he was reading and tied it to their experiences of recording in New Orleans. The first line in verse one of Little Bones is, it gets so sticky down here, better butter your cue finger up. This is believed to be a reference to the heat in New Orleans, where in the late summer of 1990, Road Apples was recorded. Now give it up for jet lag. Hey, how's everybody doing?
If you should ask, then maybe they'd tell you what I would say. True colors fly in blue and black, bruised silken sky and burning flag. Colors clash, collide in bloodshot eyes. So did anyone else notice the quality of this performance, the tribute show this year? Seems to have just gone like through the roof. Big, big round of applause. I have to say the Battle of the Bands is going to be, yeah, we've got to get to work. Uh, so let me just introduce uh, the rest of the band. Um, James is madly tuning his guitar. <laughs> Got to figure it out, yeah. So you're going to see his... Sweet. Um, so he'll be, uh, he'll be taking the lead riff on the next song. Uh, Graham, uh, channel, channeling the edge on that, last, on that last song. Lovely. Yeah. Hugh on the bass, keeping, us, keeping it locked down. And a Nathan in the back. Woohoo! Okay, I'm Eric, and uh, here we go. This is the tragically hip. Here we go. <laughs> It's so sticky down here Better bottle your cue finger up It's the start of another new year Better call the newspaper up So 54 a pipe ball And a buck and a half for a beer Happy hour, happy hour Happy hour is here Long days of shock, Leo. 
gong So is football Kennedy style Famous last words taken all wrong Wind up on the very same pile So 50 for a decade And a buck and a half for a year Happy hour, happy hour Happy hour is here I can cry big and whine To every rebel I find Just to give me a line I could use to describe They say, baby, eat this chicken slow Full of all them little bones, baby. Eat this chicken slow. It's full of all them little bones. So regal and decadent here. Cotton cheetahs dance on the graves. Music in its delicate fear is the only thing that don't change. Two fifty for an eyeball and a buck and a half for an ear. Happy hour, happy hour, happy hour is here. Nothing dead down here. It's just a little tired. Nothing dead down here. Just a little. Well, nothing's dead down here, just a little tired Nothing's dead down here, I'm just a little tired everyone for the tribute show and the jet lag sign I saw that <laughs> thanks guys that's it for tonight hi I'm Tyler Pearson owner and founder of DCM and I hope you've enjoyed tonight's performance you know, no matter how hard or how easy things come together, it's a great feeling to work together with great people. And I've had the pleasure of doing just that for the past 25 years with Deep Cove Music and Arts Center, and couldn't be prouder of our team that brought you tonight's show. Please give it up for Jordy McIntosh, Sebastian Walraven, Nathan Turner, And an extra special thank you to our management team, Felissa Stone and Brandon Horn. We would also like to thank the amazing staff at Capilano University Blue Shore Theatre. Also, special gratitude and big congratulations going out to all the bands for all their hard work and their parents with their commitment and dedication. Also, we'd like to thank the new owner of the Raven Pub, William Donnellan, and his GM, James Brown, for being our show sponsor for tonight. Also, thank you to you, the audience, and our amazing community of Deep Cove. We wouldn't be here the last 25, almost 26 years without you. Have a good night, and we'll see you in June for our annual Band Factory Battle of the Bands on Sunday, June 25th, 2023.
Have a great night.